First alert meteorologist Dave Aguilera here. And Dave, of course, anyone who's headed to those services tomorrow would like to have a nice morning. Oh, it is. It is nice when the weather cooperates out there, and it will to some extent. Uh, temperatures are not going to be all that cold, believe it or not. 4.30 in the morning should be about 42, and right around 40 at 6 a.m. The only issue, the sun will be shining tomorrow. The only issue is going to be the wind in that area. I think first hour or so, uh, winds will be like 20, 25 mile per hour. And then as we go through the morning, it'll be up to about 35 mile per hour. So it'll be a little windy uh, as you go out there and with that a little bit of wind chill. So although 40 degree temperatures seem pretty nice with the wind. It might be a little cooler than that. So you are still going to have to bundle up, wear your hat, wear your gloves, that type of thing. On the satellite and radar together, we got a little bit of moisture pushing into the mountains here, and there's a little light rain, light snow already firing up in some of those uh, areas as well. And we've got increasing clouds over the front range going on right now as that pushes in. This is all coming in ahead of a cold front, which is moving through Utah right now. And this will slide through early in the morning. It will give us some mountain snow, but it's coming from the west again, so it's just a wind producer for Denver in the front range. So tonight, this is midnight now, little snow in the mountains along with some wind here. For us, our wind is kind of out of the south here, but watch as that front comes through in the morning. There it is right there. Our winds will shift to the west. That's a five o'clock in the morning, still snowing in the mountains. We're mostly sunny across the front range in the northeastern plains. And then as we get into the afternoon, the winds start to beef up a little bit. They're out of the west. That typically provides the mountains with snow and wind for us. That's at 2.30 in the afternoon and it'll be that way throughout the day. So we'll have some sunshine, but the wind will be picking up and about one to three inches of snow on average for the northern central mountains out of that push coming through. Wind tonight. Now it's going to be windy into the morning in the mountains and the foothills. Not so much, just breezes out across the east and then by afternoon, boom, the winds whip up again in the afternoon and that is the reason we have a red flag warning again tomorrow from noon till 8 p.m. from Denver all the way down into southern Colorado again with those winds whipping up and humidity under 15%. So that's pretty tough. Low temps tonight 41 in Thornton and in Littleton and in Centennial. High tomorrow in Aurora should be about 69, 68 in Erie and Roxborough. You may make it to 71 degrees tomorrow. 70s for sure down to the southeast and 40s and 50s in the mountains with 60s out there on the western slope. So mostly cloudy tonight, increasing wind. I think we'll have 35 mile per hour gusts tonight into tomorrow, but it's a westerly wind, a warm wind so downtown close to 70 68 at the airport and then looking ahead look at this streak of temperatures here mm -hmm. we will be in the 60s or 70s all the way through friday of next week but when it's that warm this type of a year you're going to have some wind so each one of those days we may have to worry about the fire danger so just be careful out there all right here are all the kindergartners, <laughs> third graders, and fifth graders at Weber Elementary in Arvada. What a group. We talked about temperature with thermometers. There's the anemometer there. We had fun with the weather balloon and the radio sound as well. And, of course, we always make a tornado in the yes. tornado machine. There it is right there. And we finish up by making it snow. I want to send a big thank you out to Dad Brandon Moretz. He's with All Pro Dads. He shot the video out there. And they have such a good program out there. It's called all pro dads, but uh -huh. all the dads or the grandpas or the uncles, any mm -hmm. male figure in the child's yeah. life, they get together every month and do something for the kids. I love that. And they had another pro dad right there with them to oh. show them all the fun. Oh, well, gee, thanks. The <laughs> yeah. only problem is usually yeah. their thing uh, involves donuts, but there were no donuts to be had this time around. I, not time. that I need them. Well, you know. next time we'll put that on the list. <laughs> okay. All right, Dave, thank you so you much. Betcha. Well, the Mexican Culture Center is leading.